sitting at Lake Michigan. I just finished my little goofy check-in video that I made while walking down the path and the lake looks more beautiful than I've seen it all summer. It's a perfect blue. And I'm sitting, I took my tights off and I'm sitting in sand in a skirt. <laughs> and it took, uh, yeah. And I have my recorder in about five more minutes before I have to essentially run back to my car and get to my next piano lesson. But it's so beautiful. I just want to write my song here today. Wow. This is paradise. It's crazy. My heart goes out to anybody living in a place that is beautiful but is suffering from any disasters right now. I can't even imagine what you might be going through. to every human being on this planet that you find a place that soothes your soul. That you stop believing that going into the fire somehow makes you stronger. I've become so much stronger since I've learned to find places of quiet refuge 
where I feel at peace. And some might call that escapism, but when I am faced with troubles or fires, to continue my metaphor, <laughs> I'm better able to handle them because I hold these places of peace in my heart in those moments. Conversational moments or actual danger, whatever. I don't want to pontificate about problems. <laughs> Focus on the light. Focus on the peace. Look out at a clear blue lake or sit by a river. Sit by your favorite tree. When I lived in New York City... Brown. I used to mainly lived um, in Lower Manhattan, but for a little while I lived on the Upper West Side near 106th. And I would walk over to the river, and I would stare at the water, and I would use my imagination and my mind to just block out everything around it that wasn't peace, that wasn't water, that wasn't calm. And I found a lot of peace there. Obviously not as much as I find here. It's so easy to find peace in peaceful places, but you can do it. You can find peace in places that aren't peaceful. You just have to focus on the things within those places that do feel peaceful and let your mind let go of the things that don't. Don't try to analyze them or... Whoops! Ran out of room. I guess that's a sign I should get back to work. <laughs> Hope you find moments of peace and take some breaks whenever you feel too much anxiety. Okay, I should run to my car now. Bye, have a great day.